Okay, we've got these two vertical poles, one six feet high. So I put this on a coordinate system. The bottom of that pole is at zero, zero. The top of the pole is at zero, six. And over here we have another pole that's 12 feet high. Uh, and we want to find how where these two wires cross that are joining the top of one pole to the bottom of the other, how high is that? And you might think there's a piece of missing information here that we need to know how far apart the poles are. But if I share my screen and go to Desmos and drag this point around here, you can see that it doesn't matter how far the poles are apart. They always cross at a place where the height of this point of intersection is 4. Question is, how can we show that? Well, if we could find the equations of these two green segments, or the lines passing through them, and then find the point of intersection, we could find out the y-coordinate of the point of intersection. So I'll call this line k and this line l. The slope of k is using point slope. This point has coordinate v comma 12 is, and we're going through these two points. So the slope of is 12 minus 0 over v minus 0, or 12 over v. So the equation of the line k is y equals the slope, 12 over v, times x, plus the y-intercept, which is 0. So there's the equation of line k. For line L, the slope is 6 minus 0 over 0 minus v, which simplifies to negative 6 over v. So the equation of this line is y equals negative 6 over v, that's the slope, times x, plus the y-intercept y-coordinate of the y-intercept, which is 6. So there's the equation of line L. And since these both equal y, we can use the substitution method to solve for x. So 12 v over x has to equal negative 6 over x over v plus 6. How do you solve that equation for x, which would be the x-coordinate of this point? Uh, multiply every term by v to clear the equation of fractions is how I would do it. 12x equals negative 6x plus 6v. Add negative 6x to both sides. 18x equals 6v, so x equals a third of v, or v divided by 3. And if x equals a third divided by, or v divided by 3, we can plug that into either equation and solve for y, which will be the height. So here's where I've done that. y equals 12 over v times 1 third of v. The v's cancel out. That shows you that the y coordinate is independent of v because the v's cancel out. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So that's the height where these two uh, they ropes, yeah, where the two ropes uh, meet. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.